Hello again. It's still Monday evening. I've done this so many times before. Just take my glass off, don't need them now. I've got my list. What do I? Might need them, I don't know. But um, it's Monday evening again. I've just done a clip which I'm going to pull out first. Um, this was what I was originally going to do about before Tick Bike won again. So it's 2 0 to the tick, really. Probably 3 or 4. If they got a point each day, it's hammering me at the moment, but the antibiotics are in the system, so that can't, but that's not what this is about. Pardon me. Um, yeah, I was I wanted to do one about the environment and um, the changes that the lockdown have had. I mean, unfortunately, the roads are busy again already. I understand the trains are probably not running anywhere near as much because people aren't going on the trains and the planes. Until a week ago, the planes you saw on the sky were all military and boy, this great big uh, um, Air Force transport plane flying really low. It was amazing. It is actually majestic. And I know it's not good for the environment, even that. But if they're going to train and do their jobs, what they've got to do, and they can, it's just a work of art to watch it fly over. It was. And it makes you realise of the skills that are needed and required to make something like Not only to fly the blooming thing and be up in it. And I've been up in them before. But to actually make and process, I've never really... I've always taken that kind of technology for granted. And I was watching it fly yesterday afternoon thinking, it's a beautiful thing actually. Doesn't mean it's a good, you know, like I said, the environmental impact is gonna be, but the military side of things up in the sky, police, air ambulance, I don't have an issue with. Unfortunately, I'm not too far away from a small airport called Stoughton Airport. And last week I do a dog near the airport and from no planes in the sky, to half a dozen on an hour walk, but even to that half a dozen on an hour walk, and you know, today I saw a private jet, and it just, is there really a need for it? Probably not. But um, I'm not gonna go political about what's going on about traveling during the lockdown and all that lot. I wanna go back to the green side of things. I put my car in for a service like my, I was fortunate to find out by going past there that my, garage I used for my MOTs and service was open last week so I booked it in for last Monday so we could go out at its service and I did it partly because I've got a diesel but I do care about the environment I've got a diesel and at the time when I got the diesel it's an 09 plate the government would go get a diesel they're the best cars to have for the sake for the sake of the planet have a diesel if you can't afford electric which I can't you know get a diesel so I haven't got a Texas, uh, Tesla I haven't got a Tesla or a Lexus you know I've got a diesel Corsa Box or course, nothing flasher. It helps me. It's a workhorse. It doesn't drop. But I want to respect it, keep it maintained, keep on the road as long as possible. It costs mid precious materials and resources to build the thing. Don't drive it excessively. Don't, you know. And I want it to run economically, not only for my financial pocket, so I can spend on awesome pieces that I talked about a minute ago, but on the green impact. Um. I went for a walk with my daughter yesterday and admitted we travelled. My daughter came over, so she probably travelled a total for the for the six. Um, she travelled ten twenty. She probably travelled twenty six miles round trip in her car because she drove to mine and then we went because I went closer and then we went to the place and then she drove home from there. So she might have done a few miles, let's say twenty four, whereas I did five, maybe six miles yesterday. In my car, but I'm trying to keep it down. We we have to keep sort of social distance, so we went in two cars. Otherwise, we'd have gone in one car and we saved a bit of the mileage. But we can't do that at the moment, so we parked her and then we went for a really long walk. Started at just gone ten o'clock, didn't get home till half past one. Lovely walk. It wasn't fast paced. I was, but I was feeling better after the previous. I was saying so yesterday. A bit down today, but better yesterday. But the amount of people like the roads when we were on the road bit weren't that busy in fairness but we went past this nature reserve car park and it was absolutely packed out it was over full of them so they were parking on the side of the roads and all sorts and it just makes you realize that it's yes you can look at me and say well you're as guilty as they are and you are technically right i'm keeping with us but i'm trying to keep it down i'm making conscious decisions i am not just going out for the sake of it i am trying to do my bit but I've always tried to do my bit, and I will always try to do my bit. Um, I recycle all I can. My daughter lives in a different um, council district. She's part of a church where she lives in. 
she's part of the stride or church whichever it is it's stride i think it's a very green green council stride and i'm not i'm part of the Cheltenham. um her recycling capabilities are far greater if i want to recycle i have to go more out of my way whereas she doesn't they do tetra in us i have to find a tetra we have got one within a mile of my so i just build it i've got this long life bag i just fill it up fill it up fill it up fill it up, fill it up. so and then that's it and that's one of the things i use a lot of tetra because i use soya milk or oat milk and or even coconut you know if i have some coconut water now and again but the thing is milk comes in a plastic tub doesn't it or can i uh, i can't imagine it's one percent of the population use glass bottles to be honest for milk they don't they just don't it's all the plastic and so we're going to the effects of that in a sec because the plastic doesn't bag the I was at the allotment a week ago and I dug up a bag full of the guy whose allotment I'm clearing I know he put them there it's just went all over a load of plastic and uh, clear I imagine they were pop bottles which he used obviously I think he must have used them as a little prop um, propagator so he was reusing plastic to for another purpose but they're in this bag and they were buried in a compost heap I mean, compost heaps build up heat and they break down. They were ready for recycling. To the recy- they were that. It was just, it's crazy. And I talked to him about it. I said, you know, I was saying about when I went to France years ago, some plastics can take up to 500 years and they never truly fully go, do they? You get the little fragments, the little pieces. So I'm aware of all this. Well, why am I waffling about plastic when we're talking about this travel? We've got to get a grip of all aspects of green, from green energy to recycling to reusing, buying, even buying second hand, buy stuff, give stuff to charity shops so that people can buy it. If you don't want it, they can buy it and they haven't got to go and buy it new. So if you, but keep things on the go as long as possible. You know, my blender broke last week, tragic as it was, and the bottom piece, which is plastic, in it, <laughs> ironic. I imagine you get a metal piece, but a plastic piece, and it broke, it should. And I'm trying to fix it, and I'm fighting a losing battle because I might fix it, it might last a couple of goes, but then it's going to break again, it's plastic, and I'm trying a different glue, and I've got this um, strong Gorilla Glue. I'm going to try it with that. Don't open my hands up, but I bought the Gorilla Glue to fix, to re- to fix some trainers where I sold come off, for virtually new trainers great tread and it actually worked not the most comfortable not going to be used for what they were going to be used for but i'll use them on dog walks and i'll, I'll get the life out of those trainers no one want them now because it's a bit unsightly where the side of it's been done with a gorilla glue and it expands and i've trimmed it with a knife but it's the impact it's not all i'm saying is don't buy something for the sake of buying it let's recycle I mean, I've got a GoPro for doing it, but I bought a second-hand one, so it's only an Aero 4. I haven't even looked at how to use it properly yet. Probably a bad move on my part, to be honest, when I bought it, but I bought it with good inten- again with good intentions. And if I don't keep it, you know, if I do get rid of it, I'll make sure someone gets it who will use it. You know, but if it's recycled, it's not really anywhere near the death for a bin or anything at the moment. That's all I'll say on that one. I mean, your views, your comments on the great green would be great. I mean, I just think we've only got one Earth. I'm not a great spokesperson. I'm not a great, you know. Um, stop buying made in China. Not because of the Brit. Yeah, support Britain totally. Get that. But also the carbon footprint. It's phenomenal, you know. And we buy all this cheap shoddy plastic, which is imported from top materials from China. But they won't take it, you know, they're very good at not letting us dump, uh, rightly so, dumping our rubbish there. And that's how it should be. We need to, as the world needs to wake up to plastic of all things. I'm just glad about the carbon put, give the earth a chance and let's just start fixing it and building it and mending it. Not building it, but mending it, helping it, you know. There's a lot of good going on out there. There's an awful lot of unnecessary stuff as well and I'm just conflicted and annoyed upset disappointed oh, look at that. 
you know when loads of kids likes to wear the word disappointed I'm not angry I'm, not, I'm just disappointed well I could say that to the world at the moment you know it's just um, we've got to get on top we really have and the challenges that are coming out ahead with the transportation which with the people like sardines and they're going maybe a lot of them won't go back and if a lot of people don't go back to their offices to work i could might have to take a might have to make a career change again again a grand old age coming up milestone figures eh but i'd rather do that and knowing that i'm leaving the future generation something and that's just me because it's not all about money it's about we've only got one planet you know the me going vegan was initially fundamentally to see if the health benefits were there and boy <laughs> they sure for health benefits eh January the 1st veganary start the veganary um, gastroenteritis and in the later on in the year a few stomach issues with trying to get used to soy milk in the year gastroenteritis and I had a bit of that beginning of the year coronavirus being whacked with a shovel sort of feeding and now the t mighty tick that's me trying to protect nature and it's it's, it's it's attacking me from yeah thanks mate you know but uh, you know so that I can go oh yeah take your vitamins eat your greens take five a day make it ten a day make it fifteen make it twenty but if I'm not having no meat I'm having quite a few portions a day of fruit and veg you know but um wow yeah so I'm not going to go down that way but it was but also the environmental impact became an issue straight away within a month I was trying to get myself some motivation out and watching and boy yeah it makes you realise doesn't it what it, the water usage for cattle and dairy the chickens the the carbon monoxide and feeding the uh, the the, the the impact on the earth to feed the animals that we're going to eat instead you know and it's I'm not trying to convert anyone to vegan I'm just saying go one day a week pardon me if you can't do one day a month if you were to dedicate one day a month everybody was to dedicate one day a month there's a family of four say I've never been that big a family but if you were a family of four or just a couple or just yourself you yourself once a month that's 12 meals a year you know in 12 years that's 144 meals yes I'm trying to do 144 12, you know, I'm not I'm trying to do well it wouldn't be would it It'd be 144 times three if you have breakfast dinner and tea and you just do the what do you want to say you know alternatives that catches I mean I, I wouldn't say go try soya try oat milk but it's a difficult one on the milk front I'll give you that a vegetarian has less and, and I don't want to cause a war but a vegetarian has a less impact on the environment than a carnival and you know I did the vegetarian for three months before I went vegan and I get it and I, do, I actually miss the cheese I was talking about cheese from my daughter yesterday I'm going down the old um, I saw you 90 uh, 85 90% soya the rest oat milk I can't drink the almond milk because I'm allergic to nuts but I'll tell you this now the tetra bog, I, I put it recycle it into a tetra recycling but I but I have to do some research on that you know I am being more conscious of Greenpeace and everything because it's all important and um Friends of the Earth and Greenpeace and things like that are more important. But so is animal welfare. We've got a chance now to just do a few things right, you know? Just do a few things right. And the thing that's happened with me doing going vegan is it's made me open my eyes up my eyes up to a lot more. My daughter was talking to me and it's May it was May the twenty fourth. She talked to me about Christmas dinner. And I said, Yeah, I won't be eating meat. I'm vegan now. I still haven't told my daughter about this which I nearly did yesterday so maybe in the next week well I'd like to get a dozen subscribe I'll tell you what that's a challenge if I get when I get to 50 subscribers I'll tell her that's a deal I make here now 
I, when I get to 50 subscribers, I will tell my daughter about this. Because I don't want a sympathy subscription from her, basically. And her friends, and her fiancé, and people that I know, sort of thing. I've not told any friends about this, because I, I want to build up the right way. Just my way. I want to make sure that I do it for the right reasons. But when I get to 50 subscriptions, doesn't matter if it's a year from now, six months now, when I get the magic 50 subscriptions the next time I see her after that I will tell her or I might even be excited and phone her up and tell her and that's just a promise I'm going to make to myself it's a bit like when I get ready to do the vegan and don't panic I'm nowhere near 50 at the moment so this is my 20 this will be my 22nd video and I'm nowhere near but it would, it's, a, it's a goal you know and we've all got to have goals and I'm never going to make a living on YouTube but then again I don't need to worry about that I'm doing this for me as much as it's my way of helping me through the experience of vegan and if, if five people one person benefits from it in the long term I'll be grateful for that so I'll leave it there um, please message and especially if you've got any ideas about things I can talk about in the environment and go through more to I might get the books together my daughter's got a lot of my books on the environment and I'll go through them with you and talk about them and rate them you know, I picked a few up at the Eden Project, but they were years. I haven't been to the Eden Project in years, but then again, I don't want to travel that distance to just uh, get a few books to talk about it, you know. And I am terrible. I have used Amazon. But then again, my carbon footprint, I'm not going to tell my it gets delivered close, it's in a van. That's it. I try, I see, the trouble we all have now is defen I get defensive. But the thing I've bought more of lately than anything else is books. And I still haven't touched Battle Scars and I still haven't touched Breakpoint, but I will read them. I've nearly finished my David Goggins book, Can't Hurt Me. It's a very good book. Um, I've come up with another challenge I want to do, but hey, I can't do them at the moment. I need to feel better. And none of them involve transportation, i.e., of cars, and buses, or planes. I still want to do the 12 hour non stop march, carrying a weight. Don't feel like it today especially with the Lyme disease at the moment but that's a goal and um, David Goggins I, I'm learning things all the time he, the other month he did that 4 miles, four by 4 by 48 4 miles every 4 hours day and night for 48 hours so you do 12 runs runs, walks I've got an indoor bike if it absolutely buckets in down it's 4 o'clock in the morning I'm more but I'm the person that will go out in the, I'm worried about that so we'll see he says I'm not worried about that but we'll see I'm doing it for health reasons as well and that's more the health side of benefits I want to get down my daughter gets I'm not going to talk about that in case miracle should happen that they apparently I'm receive. but there's a reason why I've got a goal in mind of a date in mind where I want to get to my ideal target I've got plenty of time I'm not going to do that, but I want to get down to 85 kilos and today I was at 100.5 which has gone up slightly but at 100 Point five, and I've not eaten anything sensible. I've not done the exercise I would do over the weekend, so I'll take that. But my goal is to get to 85 kilos and stay there. So if I could get to 85 kilos, say by December, I'd be as happy as a pig in. Yeah, and I'd just maintain it then to and get to that my level, you know, a kilo. That's my goal. I might decide at 90. I'm more than happy at 90. I don't know. I do know that I carried 13 kilos around with me up and down that hill and um, yeah wouldn't it be great if I could lose that and then generally be the opposite to that you know instead of putting an extra 13 kilos and I'm taking 13 kilos off when I was 102 so 89 kilos and walking around at 89 that would have a massive impact on my body wouldn't it so that's the direction you know well I hope you understand what I'm trying to say I do hey I'm the waffler Maybe we should change it, not from butcher to vegan, but waffler. The waffling butcher to vegan. I don't know, see I'm doing it now for no reason at all. So that's, it's a good time to wrap up. If you've got any comments about, if you can comment on this, veganism or environment on this, that'd be great. And um, I promise I'll respond. But I will say for now, take care and stay safe until next time. Thank you. Goodbye.